The Queen is expected to hold more engagements from her living room over her mobility issues, according to a royal expert. Royal expert, Camilla Tomini, said the 95-year. Old monarch will however move heaven and earth to attend certain engagements. The Queen's health has been a source of concern in recent months, particularly since she spent a night in hospital last October. She did, however, ensure that she was able to attend Prince Philip's memorial service last week. Ms. Tomini told the Telegraph, the diary has become quite an agile piece of royal equipment in the sense that it's up to the Queen in the morning what she can and can't do, people are going to be coming to the Queen rather than her traveling to them. The Queen has reportedly now made Windsor Castle her permanent home and main residence. The royal expert said, the monarchy is changing before our very eyes and arguably that's no bad thing. What we think is the Queen isn't having health problems but mobility problems, she can't stand for long periods or walk for long distances and therefore accommodations are being made. She was seen walking with a stick when she attended Prince Philip's memorial service at Westminster Abbey last Tuesday. Miss Tomini added, I think the palace are handling this very much as a did when the Duke of Edinburgh retired and he was able to say which engagements he did or didn't want to attend at very short notice. I think we're going to see more of the Queen in situ, and she might get to where she needs to be in private and then be photographed on the spot. That being said, we had some lovely photographs last week of an audience in her own living room. That's going to be happening more frequently now. Speaking about Prince Philip's memorial service, she said, the memorial service was sacrosanct in the royal diary. Despite her own discomfort, she was determined to be there. Yes, concessions had to be made to ensure she was as comfortable as possible but it's these type of engagements she will move heaven and earth to attend. I think it's only fitting she was there and leading from the front. Her Majesty's presence was only confirmed two hours before it started. She stood with tears in her eyes as the 1,800 congregation sang hymns requested by Prince Philip before his death. Alongside the Queen, the service was attended by the royal family and his relatives, friends and people who benefited from Philip's charities and patronages.